Hello, this is Shelly again with the Freight House Farmers Market. I'm the bread lady and I'm here to show you how to make your mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving dinner. Now in your kit, if you ordered our Thanksgiving turkey kit, you got five pounds of baking potatoes. And it takes a long time, of course, to get these potatoes all processed and ready to go for the mashing. So we've pre-prepared some of this here today. So the first thing I did is I actually peeled the potatoes and I quartered them. You can see they've been quartered, all right? And while you're peeling the potatoes, it takes about a pot of water this size. By the time I peeled all these potatoes, the water was ready to go. I add about a handful of salt into the water before they start baking, just to give them a little bit of flavor, get that water really boiling. So you're gonna bring your water completely to a boil with the quartered potatoes in there. And if, you're, if your potatoes are large and the quarter sizes are large, make them a little bit smaller. You don't wanna dice them, but you just want them a little bit smaller. So your water's gonna to come to a, a rapid hard boil. If you like garlic with your potatoes, that would be the time to add some cloves of garlic, which I did. Uh, we, one of our vendors, grows garlic it's fabulous I peeled about five cloves and threw it into the boiling water you can see them floating in here and I'm gonna mash those right along with my potatoes so if you want to put the garlic in you have a clove of garlic in with uh, your your uh, Thanksgiving box throw them in your boiling water now when your boiling water comes to a peak it's a rolling boil then you're gonna turn your water down to medium and you're gonna let these potatoes with those garlic cubes, they're, they're just going to simmer for about 15 minutes. And you can tell they're done by pulling up one of the potatoes, pull one up, and if that knife just slides right in there with no pressure at all, they're ready for mashing. So these are ready to go. But here's the trick to having good mashed potatoes. And most people, I don't think they know to do this. You know, when you're mashing your potatoes and you've got them nice and hot, you're getting ready to mash them all down and make them creamy, you're gonna add some milk to it. Well, in order to do this correctly, you need to heat up your milk, and we're giving you buttermilk. So I've got four cups of buttermilk here. I'm gonna add it to a saucepan. We're gonna heat this up. We don't wanna add something cold to our hot potatoes because it already takes down the temperature of your potatoes. If you heat up this milk, Along with the butter, you're gonna use a quarter of a stick of the butter that was supplied to you in your kit. We're going to put this all in the pan, and remember a quarter of a stick of butter is uh, when you cut your butter in quarters that you received from the market, and then you cut each of those quarters into another half, that's, that's a quarter stick of butter. That's what you're gonna use here in your saucepan. Now we're going to heat this up. I'm going to turn that on medium. I'm going to let this slowly heat up while I am mashing these potatoes. So I'm going to let this heat up on medium heat. I'm going to take this very heavy pot and drain some of the, the water out of it and we're going to start mashing it. Be very careful when you do this. I guess I better turn that burner off. A lot of steam coming off this pot. And if you've added the garlic in there, you may have your own trick to draining this, but if you've added the garlic in there, let them go right in the, stay right in there. Get a better angle at this. Ooh, that got hot on my hand. that in there again. A lot of steam, a lot of potatoes, but boy they look good. Should have all the water out of there. Just make sure they look pretty good. Just a little bit more in there. colander in the sink just in case one of them escapes. I don't want it to go down my garbage disposal there. I want to grab it 
so it goes back in my pot. All right, so these are ready to be mashed. We've got our milk heating up here. I'm gonna just stir this a little bit. It's gonna be nice and creamy. We don't really need this to boil. We just need it to heat up enough that it's gonna melt that butter in there. I use an old fashioned masher. You certainly can use your hand mixer if you want to. I just like doing all this by hand. I just think it makes a better product. It tastes better. And look how easy these mash. Now my dad always liked lumpy potatoes. Maybe you don't. But we kind of like them with a little bit of lumps in there. mashed up in there just using an old-fashioned potato masher no special tools needed Set this right there let's check this I've got a nice heavy whisk here when you're whisking these potatoes it's nice to have a, a pretty heavy whisk but you don't have to have a whisk at all you can do this with a fork The trick is just getting this heated up enough that it's not going to cool down your potatoes. As you can see, our turkey's out of the oven. And when we're done with this, I'm going to show you how to make some gravy. And remember that stock? If you've made the rest of the ingredients, we made that stock. I ended up using all the stock in the, rest, in the turkey pot. So it's got some nice thick juices on the bottom of the pot to make our gravy out of in a little bit here. Let that sit just a little bit more. And you can see there's, you can't even see the garlic in there because it mashed up really nice with the potatoes. Which is lovely. potatoes. I'm not going to add it all at one time. I'm just going to add about that much. Get this stirred in. And again, ooh, it just smells good. You can smell that butter and buttermilk. Um, Some people like to add a little sour cream. You can certainly do that. You can add sour cream into here. I wouldn't add all of that buttermilk in all at the same time. coarse ground pepper, a little bit of salt, not a lot, just a little bit for flavor. And you know what? We have got ourselves some very thick and lovely mashed potatoes. I'm not going to need to use the rest of this, I'm just going to sit it off to the side. in our serving dish here. 
Remember this pan is quite hot. Oh my goodness, this smells good. My hand is coming off there. There we go. Thing we need now? Some gravy. Stay tuned. <laughs>